And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, October the 27th, 2019. It's the birthday of the novelist Zadie Smith, born in London, 1975, grew up in a working-class neighborhood in northwest London, brought up by her Jamaican mother, British father. She read constantly. She said, while the rest of my generation embraced the sociality of ecstasy, I was encased in marijuana, the drug of the solitary. By the time I arrived at college, I had been in no countries, had no jobs, participated in no political groups, had no lovers. I was perfectly equipped to write the kind of fiction I did write, saturated by other books, touched by the world, but only vicariously. She went off to college, wrote about a hundred pages of a novel, sent it off to a publisher, got a huge advance for it, graduated in 2000 and published White Teeth, which was a bestseller, critical success, won awards, and Zadie Smith was just 24 years old. It's the birthday of poet Sylvia Plath in Boston, 1932. A straight-A student got into Smith on a scholarship, won all the prizes for writing contests, and then went over to England on a Fulbright scholarship. It's the birthday of the 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt, born in New York City, 1858, born into privilege. A sickly child suffered from asthma. Doctors discovered that he had a weak heart, and they advised him to lead a quiet life and take some kind of desk job, but he dreamed of becoming an adventurer. And by the time he was a teenager, he had developed a program of rigorous exercise, boxing, and lifting weights, went into politics, and was successful. And then on Valentine's Day, 1884, both his mother and his wife, Alice, died, and Roosevelt, devastated, left politics behind and took up cattle ranching in the Badlands of the Dakota Territory, stayed there for two years before he came back to politics in New York. He was vice president when President McKinley was assassinated in 1901. Roosevelt, at 42, became the youngest man ever to become president and served two terms from 1901 to 1909. He was a voracious reader. He was said to have read an entire book every day before breakfast. And one of his legacies was the conservation movement. He created 150 national forests and five national parks. And he was a writer. He wrote some three dozen books himself, history, biography, autobiography, philosophy. His first book was History of the Naval War of 1812, published not long after he graduated from Harvard, which became required reading in the U.S. Navy. His last book, published just after his death in 1919, was a collection of his letters written to his own children over 20 years. Here's a poem by Ted Kuzier entitled Advice. We go out of our way to get home, getting lost in a rack of old clothing, fainting in stairwells, our pulses fluttering like moths. We will always be leaving our loves like old stoves in abandoned apartments. Early in life, there are signals of how it will be. We throw up the window one spring and the window weights break from their ropes and fall deep in the wall. Advice, a poem by Ted Kuzer from his collection Flying at Night, published by University of Pittsburgh Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.